Hello everybody. Today I'm doing a climb up of Stone Mountain and I figured I'd share a little bit of my hike with you on my show when I get it edited and posted. But one thing I'd like to show you some of the view of the starting area of the hiking that I'll be doing today. Oh, it's at Stone Mountain, Georgia. And you can see here at the starting area, we have a train track which goes across. It's part of the Stone Mountain Railway. And up here is, you know, part of the hike up the trail. And I'll be filming more once we get to more interesting locations. Well, there goes the Stone Mountain train, which I was talking about a little earlier. I don't, I hope this will come out pretty good on the video when I produce it. But we'll see when I get it done. Here's another interesting area that I want to show you. It's where they've got this step with the different flags. The Confederate flag, the U.S. flag, the Georgia flag, and a couple other flags. But we'll walk up and see what we got as far as the flags. And I'll show you more of what's here to see as I walk toward. Most of this area here I'm walking in is pretty much flat. Just explo exposed marble. But you can slightly hear the rattle of the flag lines. Now right here, this is the battle flag. And now here's one of the police emergency call boxes in case they're, they're on the trail in case something happens, a medical emergency, you fall or you get injured or pass out. No matter where you are on the mountain, there will be emergency response people that can get up to where you are. Now last time I was here, I actually got to see it in use because some woman overexerted herself and passed out. So they got the paramedics up to the top of the mountain. A very steep climb to get up to where she was. Very steep roads I would not want to drive on. But we'll, we'll see some more stuff. Now periodically on the hiking trail, you'll see these yellow marks painted on, on the mountain, on the hiking trail. So some people will know where to go, as if it isn't pretty obvious, but... Well, I guess some people need the extra help and direction on how to get there, but well, I guess it's a good thing for those who need it. Usually graffiti is spray painted on buildings, but here the graffiti is actually carved into the stone, and some of this stuff is very old. Let me show you this one example here. Some of this stuff was carved all the way in 1879, some of it probably even earlier. Which begs, the diff which begs some interesting questions. Who were these people that carved this stuff up here? And who were their families and stuff? Even the main hiking trail here has sub-hiking trails that actually go into the woods and are pretty much seem to be level without much up and down. But we're not here today for those trails. We're here for the one that goes up and the more up the better because we're gonna be feeling the burn on this one one thing interesting I thought I'd share with you guys in this little video presentation is the gum tree I mean the gum telephone pole a lot of people have put gum on this pole shitloads and as you can see on the ground there's also shitload of gum on the ground my question is if you're going to discard your gum here, why not stick it on the pole? Just throw it on the ground? Are you that damn lazy? I don't know how well you can, will be able to see this, but you can see that steep up climb up there. That's part of the area which I'll be going up. So far, it's been pretty 
simple and straightforward going. But when I get to a certain point, I'll be needing to take breaks every now and then just to catch my breath because I don't want to overexert myself. I thought here first I'm going to show you one of the first panoramic views which you'll be seeing which I'll be showing you when I climb up this mountain. But I hope you can see this pretty spectacular view which I'm getting. I don't know how much this camera can take in all of it, but I'm telling you the view is just pretty damn awesome when you're up here in life. Sometimes there's things in life you just gotta actually physically do them. Yeah, I just want to show you this one carving that somebody did. They really put in a lot of time on this one over here. I'll pan around and show you a little bit of it. There's actually, I think it was probably a memorial to somebody who passed away or to somebody that they love because you got a heart with a palm tree in it. The guy's name is Henry C. Mont. And here you have Charlie Bradfield, December 12th, 1913. Now some of this looks like it was older than others, but right here we have a couple you know, wine, beer bottles or, or whiskey bottles, obviously who they were memorializing liked to drink. And over here we have, I just now made it out. Here's a carving of a person, or maybe an angel, because there's, there might be wings. And you have a couple axes or hammers going across. Taking another little stop here to catch my breath for a few moments to when I start walking back up here. There's one thing I gotta tell you. It rained earlier today and it is humid as all freaking get out, which makes it, it a lot worse, makes you sweat like a beast and worries you out a little bit quicker than usual. So I'm just taking it slowly. I just wanted to show you here. Here's the first increase in the incline that we get because from here on out, the incline is going to get steeper and steeper and steeper. Up until this point, it's been basically level walking with a slight increase. But now it gets, now this is where the fun begins. Where you really get to put the feet to the granite. This building I'm showing you right here is a covered shelter that's built near the top of the mountain. For people to sit and, re and relax and take a little breather for a few moments. And I'll show you, you can see up here along the walls, you know, drawings that were done by some local school kids, probably on a field trip to Stone Mountain. But this is basically a good place to go just stop and rest for a few moments to cool off and get back to being able to walk on the trail. But obviously, one thing I do want to show you someday, obviously, when it was cold a couple years ago, these benches are plastic. And somebody obviously put something rather hot right here because you can see it melted a, a nice little plastic ring, which has been here for actually quite several years. Well, I don't know how much you can see, but it's another steep rise up here up the mountain. As I said, it gets steeper and steeper. It divides into two paths up the mountain. One here, which is slightly easier to walk up. And one over here, which is really steep to the point where it has guardrails. I'm going up the one with the guardrails. Because, well, it might present me with some interesting stuff to film, perhaps. We'll see. Okay, I wanted to show you this plaque right here. It's the Old Indian Trail, placed by the by Brandon DeCab Chapter in 1922. So at least we know when they had, had produced this trail and actually actually went through the process of making a trail to go up to the top of the mountain. 